ಪೂರ್ಣಮದ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಿದೂರ್ಣಪೂರ್ಣಮುದೇ ಪೂರ್ಣಸ್ಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮಾದಾಯ ಪೂರ್ಣಮೇವಶಿಷ್ಯತೆ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ಶಂಕರ ಶಂಕರಾಚಾರ್ಯ ಕೇಶವ ವಾದರಾಯಣ ಸೂತ್ರಭಾಷೀಕೃತ ವಂದೇ ಭಗವಂತ ಪುನಃ ಪುನಃ ಈಶ್ವರೋ ಗುರುರಾತ್ಮೀತಿ ಮೂರ್ತಿಭೇದ ವಿಭಾಗಿನೆ ವ್ಯೋಮವದ ವ್ಯಾಪ್ತೇಹಾಯ ದಕ್ಷಿಣಮೂರ್ತ ನಮಃ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ನಾರಾಯಣ ನಮಸ್ಕೃತ ನರಂ ಚೈವ ನರೋತ್ತಮ ದೇವೀ ಸರಸ್ವತಿ ವ್ಯಾಸ ತೋ ಜಯ ಮುದೀರೇತ ಓಂ ಶಾಂತಿ 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 ವರ್ಷ ನಂಬರ್ ಸಿಕ್ಸ್ ಫಸ್ಟ್ ಐ ಚಾಂಟ್ ದೆನ್ ಫಾಲೋ ಮೀ ನ ಚೈತ ವಿಮ ಕತರನ್ನು ಗರಿಯೋ ಯದ್ವಾ ಜಯಮ ಯದಿವಾ ನೋ ಜಯೇವು ಯಾನೇವ ಹತ್ವಾ ನಜಿಜಿ ವಿಷಾಮ ತೇ ಅವಸ್ಥಿ ಪ್ರಮುಖೇಥಾರ್ಥ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಐ ರಿಪೀಟ್ ಒನ್ ಮೋರ್ ಟೈಮ್ ನ ಚೈತ ವಿಮ ಕತರನ್ನು ಗರಿಯೋ ಯದ್ವಾ ಜಯೇಮ ಯದಿವಾ ನೋ ಜಯೇವು ಯಾನೇವ ಹತ್ವಾ ನಜಿಜಿ ವಿಷಾಮ ತೇ ಅವಸ್ಥಿ ಪ್ರಮುಖೇಧಾರ್ಥ ರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಸೀದಮೀನಿ ಅರ್ಜುನ್ ಸೇಸ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ಇವೆನ್ ನೋ ವಿಚ್ ಇಸ್ ಬೆಟರ್ ಫಾರ್ ಅಸ್ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಟು ಫೈಟ್ ನಾಟ್ ಡು ವಿ ನೋ ವೇದರ್ ವಿ ಶೆಲ್ ವಿನ್ ಆರ್ ವೇದರ್ ದೆ ವಿಲ್ ವಿನ್ ಅಸ್ ದೋಜ್ ವೆರಿ ಸನ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ತ್ರಿತರಾಷ್ಟ್ರ ಕಿಲಿಂಗ್ ಹೋಮ್ ವಿ ಡೂ ನಾಟ್ ಇವೆನ್ ವಿಸ್ ಟು ಲಿವ್ ಸ್ಟ್ಯಾಂಡ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಇನೇಮಿ ರ್ಯಾಂಕ್ಸ್ see the one more time translation arjun says o oh krishna we do not know this as well as to which is better for us and whether we shall win or they shall defeat us those the very sons of tritrashtra by killing whom we do not wish to live stand in the confrontation arjun is continued he says o krishna na chaitat vidma katarannu gariyo arjun made a very powerful shield in his mind to protect his notion even god could not pass the message to arjun once someone had created any notion it may be wrong it may be right very difficult to break that notion because because due to these prejudices we are not ready to listen if we are not ready to listen then no one can teach us now arjun says o oh krishna i do not know kataran no gariya gariya means the best if we have option if we have choice 
then we always choose the best one. If you have choice for food, you will take best food. If you have choice for traveling, then you will choose the best option for traveling. Because we always want the best one. If we don't have any option, then whatever comes, we are bound to accept that. But choosing the waste, we should know who is the waste. Then we can choose. We should have the power of discriminating what is good, what is bad. Arjun says, Oh Krishna, I have two options here. One option is I fight, another option is I don't fight. And this phrase can be translated in another way also. Another way, he says, so Krishna, I do not know which way is the better for me. I should fight and win and take the kingdom of the earth. Or I should not fight and I take a life of a monk. And both paths are good. Both paths are religion. But which religion is for you? Fighting is also religion. And not fighting is also religion. The only matter is what is better to you? What is good for you? Fighting or not? Being a warrior, a great fighter, fighting is a religion. Being a monk, fighting is not religion. So both are religion. Fighting and do not fighting. Both are religion. Arjun is in dilemma. He says, Krishna, Nachetat Vidma Kataran no Gariyo. I do not understand. I am not able to understand that what is the way for better for me? Fight or not? Chetan no Gariya. And I want the better one. I want the waste one. But my intellect, my discriminating power now does not work. So I am unable to choose the waste one. Please help me. Nachaitat Vidma Kataran no Gariyo. So Arjun's problem is his discriminating power is not working properly. And still, he, he was so rigid. He did not want to listen to Krishna. But now, slowly, slowly, he realized that he is not perfectly right. So now he says, Oh Krishna, help me. What is better? What is best for me? Kataran no gariva. And now next he says, Yadiva jayama yadiva no jayu. If I will fight, if I take the option of fighting. And in fighting, in fighting, nothing is fixed. Nothing is fixed. Any can be happen. I can win or I will be defeated. Anything can be happen. 
எதிவா ஜெயமா எதிவா நோ ஜெயோ எனி திங் கேன் பி ஹேப்பன் here he says is mean is that if i fight and i defeat it then i got nothing i got nothing i can lose my life ediva no jayu i remember an anecdote there was a brahman who was very ritualistic he did not eat even a garlic and onion very ritualistic person so he never ate the even garlic and onion and sometime he caught in a disease but but we did so doctor said i will give you the medicine but it would be better to you to take a opinion from the your vaidya ayurvedic vaidya it would be better so he went to the vaidya and the way they said if you want to be cured you have to eat onion or garlic otherwise there is no any option so he decided yes i will take i will have onion and he ate but the disease will remain same nothing happened then he said i have done whatever is needed i should have not eat the onion i ate but my disease is still there arjun says same if i will fight and i defeat i have gone everywhere nothing will remain for me yadi va no jayema he krishna and another the most important point is he was making that yani bhatva najiji bisama te vastita pramukhe dharth rashtra he say so krishna in my friends as my enemy there are my brothers pramukhe dharth rashtra the very very my close friends my brothers uncles acharya they are in my friends i do not even live i do not want to live even killing by them and in this war i am bound to be killed them so he krishna i am very puzzled i do not understand what should i do and what should i not this is the puzzle of the arjun see god is available everywhere master is always available but we are not available to them master sir available they are even they are waiting they are waiting for disciple god is waiting for devotee master sir waiting for disciples god is waiting for devotee but we are not available we are not ready to listen we are not ready to accept them if we are not ready 
then God cannot do. Krishna was there. Arjun is so miserable condition. But Krishna could not do anything. Because Arjun was not ready to listen. He had made seals not to listen to Krishna. So God is waiting. Master is waiting. And they are available. They are not difficult. We are not available for them. Now, slowly, slowly, gradually, Arjun realized that. Arjun realized that first, I should listen to Krishna. I should need help from the Krishna. Now, next one. Karpani doso pahata sobhava, Rikshami tam dharma samudha chetaha, Yatre yasa nishitam bruhitan me, Shishaste ham sadi, mam tam prapannam. I repeat one more time. Karpani doso pahata sobhava, Rikshami tam dharma samudha chetaha, Yatre yasa nishitam bruhitan me, Shishaste ham sadhi, mam tam prapannam. See the translation. With my very being, smitten by the vice of faint heartedness, and my mind puzzled with regard to duty, I beseech you tell me what which is. Decidedly good, I am your disciple. Pray, instruct me who have taken refuge in you. See the one more time meaning. He says, O oh Krishna, with my heart is overpowered by weak pity, with a mind puzzled about duty. I ask you, tell me for certain what is good for me. I am your disciple. Instruct me who has taken refuge in you. This mantra is very, very important in Gita. Very, very important. Gradually, Arjun realized that I am not able to overcome from this situation. And fortunately, God is there. Why then I am suffering? I should ask to the God. And I should listen to the God. We know the one way. We can ask. We can ask a question, but we are not ready to listen. Asking question is not a good quality. Any ignorant person can ask. In fact, only ignorant person can ask. So asking question is not good property. Listening is the property. Listening is the quality. Arjuna was so depressed in miserable condition because of the delusion. You will be sad in same proportion in which you are rooted in the body. You will be cheerful in the same proportion as you are rooted in the body. In this state, Arjun is very, very deep, deeply rooted in the body. Because of the delusion. In this mantra, changes all things about Arjun. Karpani doso pahata sobhava. He says, O Krishna, now I realized. 
my nature is very different and whatever i am doing right now it is not my own nature before some was telling that fact but arjun was not ready to listen but now he realized that he said karpanne dosho pahata swabhava swabhava means your own nature what is your your nature so being a warrior being a yodha is nature was fighting fighting for what fighting not only for fighting fighting for the religion fighting for the compassion fighting for the protect someone so fighting was his nature now he realizes that what i am doing karpanni dosho pahata swabhava he says so krishna now i can understand because of this pity my swabhava my nature becomes over powered and i know that but i am not able to overcome from that condition karpanni dosho pahata swabhava like see when anger comes in you you are angry and you know that i am angry if you know that i am angry then you do not justify your anger if you are justify your anger it means you are not aware about your nature and anger anger is not your nature greed is not your nature they are against your nature but if you don't understand that this the anger is the greed is the lust this is something different which is not my nature then we protect we justify i am angry because of we can find out any reason but to be angry there is no any reason to be angry there is no any reason because this is not your nature arjun says ko oh, krishna now i understand that karpanni dosho pahata swabhava because of this suddenly suddenly have come suddenly has come a pity in my mind this is not my nature upata swabhava my nature is overpowered another thing is dharma sammudh cheta arjun says i am very puzzled about my duty i am very puzzled about my duty because if you if my discriminating power is not working properly then you cannot discriminate what is good what is bad what your 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 duty what is not your duty you cannot take decision dharma sammudh cheta the problem is for arjun he says i am not able to discriminate what is good what is not good for me what is my duty what is my religion and see religion makes you responsible that is how religion makes you free that is your freedom to choose to be miserable or to be happy nobody else has to do anything with it it is up to you religion says all is up to you 
you are the responsible. Only you are the responsible. So religion gives your responsibility. And religion believes you are individual responsible. And this responsibility not only limited in this world. The religious person can feel, can understand the responsibility not only in this world, but another world too. He knew, he know that I am responsible to the God, to the heaven, to the hill, to the next life. You are alone the responsible. This responsibility comes because of religion. Arjun feels that I am responsible. Dharma Samuda Chetaha. He says, Oh Krishna, I am not able to know what is my religion, what is not. And this is very, very important to me. Religion gives you freedom to choose good and bad. And because freedom is great responsibility. So Arjun says, Dharma Sammuda Chetaha. My mind is not clear. What should I do and what should I not do? He was so, so afraid. Dharma Sammuda Chetaha. So, Arjun says, O oh Krishna, the, my mind is not clear about my duty. What should I do? What should not? Dharma Sammuda Cheta. Religion makes you responsible. Arjun is responsible. Duryodhana is not. He is ready to fight. But Arjun is responsible because he is a religious person. That is why these problems had arisen. Dharma Sammuda Cheta. So now he says, this is my problem. This is Arjun's identity. Arjun means here, whose nature has overpowered by pity and who cannot understand what is his duty. This is our duty. Now next system. If I do not understand what is my duty, then what should I do? As I so told before also, Arjun was very, very lucky, very fortunate. He had Lord Sri Krishna, very close. He had Lord Sri Krishna. In this condition, we have studied so many times. This condition is can lead you our liberation. It can be lead you towards liberation or towards miserable condition. This is the junction point. This depression should be handled very, very carefully. This condition should be managed very, very carefully. Arjun was very lucky. He had Lord with him. Now he says, O oh Lord, whatever is good for me, Tell me, whatever is good for me, I want to know whatever is good. And Krishna was quiet, no response. Bruhi Tanme, he says, so Krishna, whatever is good for me, please tell me 
Krishna did not reply. Then he says, Shishyaste ham sadhi maam tam prapannam. Very, very important point has come. He said, O oh Krishna, I am your disciple. This phrase in the Gita is very, very important. Shishyaste aham. I am your disciple. So please discipline me. This phrase in Gita is very, very important. You can say that Gita starts from here. Krishna Arjun was there in, in one chariot. In one chariot, there was Krishna and there was Arjun. But what the relation between both? The relation was Arjun was a warrior and Krishna was a charioter. Another relation was they were both very good friends. Another relation was they were relative. They were very close. There were so many, so many relations between both. But having these relations has no quality to give a spiritual message. Spirituality can be, cannot be given to the prince. Spirituality cannot be given to a relative, to a father, to a brother, to a sister. No. It cannot be transferred any other relation. The only relation is master and disciple. Then spirituality can be transferred. Krishna was very close to Arjuna. That time Krishna was prince. That time Krishna was his relative, Elvisar. But that time Krishna was not a master and Arjuna was not a disciple. Now totally things have been changed. She says to him, he said, Oh Krishna, I am your duty. I am your disciple and you are my master. As I told you, master is always waiting for you. God is waiting for you. They have love for us, but their love is very, very passive. passive. They wait. They wait. You come. So Krishna was waiting for this situation. She says, He said, Oh Krishna, I am your devotee. Our scriptures are saying, <laughs> Do not give a spiritual message those who do not have who does not have interest and for those who does not ask properly Naprishta Kasit Chitabuya. Now matter is serious. It is a matter not between two friends, two relatives. This matter is between disciple and masters. So scriptures are stating that <coughs> do not tell anybody who does not have interest. Keep quiet. 
शिष्यस्ते हम साधी माम ताम प्रपन्नम ऐसे सो कृष्ण आय एम योर डिसाइपल साधी माम ताम प्रपन्नम एंड आई एंड आई एम टोटली सरेंडर टू यू I take refuge to you. This is acceptance. So disciple means acceptance. Now Arjun is ready. Arjun is ready to listen to Krishna. Before Arjun was not ready to listen to Krishna. Sishasthe ham sadhi maam tam prapannam. O oh Krishna, I am your devotee. <clears throat> I am your disciple, and I accept everything. This point is very, very important. In Vivek Chudamani or other study classes, we have discussed so many times how to reach a master, how to achieve a master, a guru. Arjun was lucky. His master was very close to him, but he did not realize that. That is why this sorrow is should be there. This condition should have been there, and then he realized, Krishna is my teacher. Krishna is my guru, master. Sishasthe ham sadhi mam tam prapannam o Krishna. I am a disciple. I am I totally surrender to you, and shadi. Very very beautiful words. Shadi means you just give me disciplines. Disciplines. I cannot control myself. I cannot manage to work to properly. Now you can give me path. give me instructions give me message i will just follow i will just follow sadhi means i am just follow without any question sadhi mam tam prapannam this is the relation between arjun and krishna and due to this relation geeta has happened Now next one, number eight. Nahi prapasya mi mama panudyad yacho kamucho shanam indriyadam avapya bhuma vaspatna miridham rajyam suranam mapi chadhi patyam. I repeat one more time. Nahi prapasya mi mama panudyad yacho kamucho shanam indriyadam. अवाप्य भूमा वसपत्न मृद्धम राज्यम सुराणाम अपिचाधिपत्यम सी द ट्रांसलेशन ट्रांसलेशन से फॉर इवेन वन ऑप्टेनिंग अनडिस्प्यूटेड सावरनिटी एंड इन अनफ्लुएंट किंगडम ऑन दिस अर्थ एंड लॉर्डशिप ओवर द गॉड्स I do not see any means that can drive away the grief which is drying up my senses. See, see the translation one more time. He says, "O oh Krishna, I do not see what would remove this sorrow, which scorcher of my senses organs, having achieved the." prosperous the undisputed kingdom of the earth also the over lordship the gods nahi prapasyami mama panudyat and lastly he says o oh krishna when we work in this world after working we get its results what world is like we use prepaid mobile phone there are two schemes you know 
one is prepaid another is postpaid prepaid means you have paid before then you use so entire world's objects are prepaid you have done for them we have done for them so nothing is free whatever you have you are getting whatever we are you have it may be objects it may be human being animals your conditions anything whatever you have it is prepaid nothing free whether you know whether it not but everything is prepaid like we have worked very hard for one month then we get salary a student studies the whole year and he gets good results are bad results so first we do then we get its results so everything whatever we have it is paid and already we have paid for it and what the purpose for doing we want happiness arjun says oh krishna if i fight suppose i win then what will i get i get the kingdom how much kingdom he says suppose krishna the entire earth is in my control like somewhere someone is a president in one country but what value he has in another country in another country he is a common man in your state you are the president you are the minister prime minister but in another country you are just a, like another person arjun says oh krishna suppose i will got i will get all entire the universe then the earth is mine and without dispute no one is challenging me like whatever you have if you can enjoy then it will give you happiness your thought your thought is important your thought makes difference your thought can we make you happy or unhappy not object if i got if i get the entire universe and there is my enemy enemy always challenges us krishna suppose i will get entire universe and without any enemy i can enjoy but this enjoyment i know one day will come this enjoy will be finished because death is certain ava pe bhuma vaspatna mridham if i get the entire earth with prosperity but one day will come that my entire earth or my body will be finished another point is rajyam suranam if i get the heaven in heaven there is a very different objects 
in heaven the objects are very subtle objects are very subtle here objects are gross then in heaven there is also happiness but i know this happiness also will be and some day so this happiness also cannot make me so happy nahi prapasyami mama apnudyadichho kamuchho shanamindriyanam hava pe bhuma vaspatna mirdham rajyam suranam chadipatyam o krishna the heaven also cannot make me happy now next one sanjay uvach eva mukta shri kesam guda kesha param tapah na utsiti govinda mukta tushni babhuva eva mukta shri kesam guda kesha param tapah na utsiti govinda mukta tushni babhuva see the translation Sanjay said, O king, having thus spoken to Sri Krishna, Arjun again said to him, I will not fight and become silent. One more time translation. Sanjay said, having spoken thus to Sri Krishna, Arjun, the conqueror of sleep and scorcher of foes, said, I will not fight and become silent. The story was going between Sanjay and Dhritarashtra. Sanjay is narrating the story of Mahabharata to the Dhritarashtra. He says, thus, thus is spoken by Arjun. Eva Muktva Shri Kesham, whom Lord Shri Krishna. Here too, special quality is shown here in this verse. to arjuna and that is gudakesh and parantap both are names of arjun gudakesh and parantap as i told before also gudakesh means what gudak and is gudak means the sleep is means the controller now see what happens in the sleep in a state of sleep you are not in your control in sleep we are unconscious we do not know when sleep will come we do not know when we will wake up how deep sleep will come how sleep will not come we do not know anything we just go to bed and just lay down and we wait and what kind of dreams you will get nothing is in your control nothing is in your hand it happens you are unconscious in waking state you can control something but in dream in waking in dream state in sleep you have don't have any any control but she very meaningful name here is our of arjun that's gudake arjun was very very special arjun had had very special quality that he was aware in deep also in dream state also arjun was very very aware very conscious in sleep also so he was conqueror of the sleep he was controller of the sleep lord sri krishna says o arjun what had happened to you 
you are good or kids you are conscious in deep sleep also this state is waking state you must be aware but where is your awareness where is your awareness so good ake and another word is parantap parantap is a strong powerful so arjun had two qualities one is he was aware and another is he can do anything because he had power lord sri krishna indirectly here is written guda kesha in parantap eva mukta sanjay said o rajan o king dhritarashtra spoke in thus to sri krishna na yotsiya and finally he said to krishna i will not fight i do not understand i am very puzzled in this condition how can i fight so my decision is i am not going to fight na yotsiti govinda o govind i am not going to fight i shall not fight to shneem bahu vaha and finally he kept quiet i will not i sat down and kept quiet see the last one tamuva thirshi kesa prasanni bhavarata senayoru bhayor madhe visidantam idam vachah i repeat one more time tamuva thirshi kesa prasanni bhavarata senayoru bhayor madhe visidantam idam vachah see the translation then o dhritarasht shri krishna as if smiling addressed the following words to arjun showering in the midst of two armies see the one more time translation sanjay said o dhritarasht rishi kesa as if he was smiling he spoke to him who was thinking in despondency in between two armies now turn has come of lords the all preparations has been done tamubach rishi kesha sanjay said odhritast now the lord started addressing to arjun and condition of urgency he is sitting in between two armies this is the problem one side korvas army another side pandavas army and he was standing between both that is why he was puzzled one side is bhishma another time side is bhim they do not had any they don't do any problem but arjun was sitting between two armies senayor ubhayor madhe and visidantam he was thinking in sadness condition every time he becomes more 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 and more and more sad in this condition and krishna was watching when arjun totally surrendered himself to the lord and kept quiet i am your disciple sanjay said prasan niva bharata now see the approach of lord how to respond smiling face arjun was crying the tears were were flowing and krishna was watching krishna was watching his best friend is crying but krishna did not cry he did not give any company to arjun you cry and i also cry with you because i am your good friends but he did not 
give any company to Arjun in crime. So, and another part was, he did not make any joke to Arjun. Why are you crying like a woman? He did not make any joke. See the approach. Rishi Kesha. Rishi Kesha means the controller of the sense organ. Every time, any condition, any situation, he is the master of the sense organ. Rishi Kesha. So Arjun was crying. He was in very depression condition, but Krishna was smiling. Smiling, it says that as if Prahasan never knew, as if actually he was not smiling, but his face was like he is smiling. Smiling, so he was very normal. He was giving in the instructions to Arjun. He was giving some words, Arjun, do not fear. This problem is not so deep rooted. So smiling says, do not worry. It can be solved very easily. Prasan Nibhavarataha, Sri Krishna said to Arjun, and what he said, we will take in next session. Om Uranamadaha Uranamidam Uranat Uranamudachati Uranasya Puranamadaya Uranameva Vashishati Om Shanti 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 Shankaram Sankaracharyam Keshavam Vadarayanam Sutra Bhashikrita Uvande Bhagavanta Upona Puna Isharu Guru Ratmeti Murti Veda Vivagine Vyoma Vada Vyapta Dehaya Sachina Murtae Namaha Om Santi Shanti Shanti Narayanam Namaskritya Naram Chaiva Narutamam Devim Saraswati Vyasham Tato Jayamudira Eta Om Santi Shanti